Hey, what up y'all, it's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about 16 people, like minimum 16 people that I interact with daily working as a bedside nurse. But before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos one to two times a week here on this channel. If you haven't already, check out my Facebook page for this YouTube account. It's listed down below facebook.com slash David Robinson with an extra N after Robinson. And that's where I post any of my nursing ideas or if you wanna give me an idea for a video or I let you know when my videos come out. So go ahead and give that page a follow as well. Are you guys liking this like jungle setup? I feel like the setup is really like a Versace kind of, well I do have my Versace head over here, but I'm, really channeling like a Versace moment with the banana leaves and the green lights and the gold accents with the pillow. I just really like this setup right now. But yeah, let's get into it. So if you know a nurse, you might know that after working a 12 hour shift, they may be a little bit tired and they may not really want to talk. Usually when I get off of a 12 hour shift, I just go home and I really just eat, shower, and want to zone out and do something mindless such as playing Animal Crossing on my Switch or watching a goofy reality show, something that doesn't really have to make me think so much. Just because working, I interact with so many people daily and I'm going to talk about 16, a minimum of 16 people that I talk to daily working at the bedside, but there's probably really a lot more. The first four people that I talk to are my patients. So I have four patients on a shift. Now this isn't including if I discharge a patient and get a new one because then obviously that could mean five to six patients depending on if you ch discharge to and get to but I'm constantly interacting with my patients, obviously. And what else comes along with patients is family members. Now, I'm also counting this as another four minimum, but there could be so much more because each patient might have a family member, but I do get these instances now that patients' family aren't really allowed in the hospital. I tend to get a lot more phone calls and generally about one to two family members each shift for each patient call me wanting updates or plan of care or wanting some kind of information from me but for the sake of counting we'll just put that at another four so at the hospital i work at we have hospitalists and we have quite a bit of them and generally for a while they were assigning the same hospitalist to one unit where they would get all those patients, which I thought was really cool, but we kind of got away from that for some reason. So for four patients, I usually have a different hospitalist for each patient, or I'll get lucky and I'll have one doctor for two, but generally I have four different doctors that I'm talking to. And as well as doctors, while in the hospital, there are definitely specialists, doctors who specialize in something. These are doctors that the hospital has put out consults for that they want to see the patient. And I'm only counting about two for this count. So I believe we're at 14 people that I'm interacting with so far, but two is just very minimum. I mean, one patient could have anywhere from two to four consults and each patient could have roughly an extra eight or nine doctors that I'm talking to daily. But it's safe to say that if you're in the hospital, there's definitely gonna be specialists that they're gonna be bringing on for you, unless it's more of a outpatient surgery that you could go home the next day with. When I started as a nurse, this was something that I struggled with, was just maintaining all this knowledge. As a nurse, we're really just like the conductor of the patient's care. Everyone is going through me and I'm directing them in a direction that they need to go. Maybe a family member contacts me and they want to speak to a doctor, so I coordinate that. Maybe a patient wants to speak to a specialist, so I go. it goes through me and I get a hold of the specialist and then they come back through me and I talk to them. So there's a whole lot of conducting going Going on now let's talk about my therapist now for my patients who have had a stroke generally they get consulted to all three therapists speech therapy occupational therapy and physical therapy so these are another three people minimum because sometimes we do have multiple physical therapists or 
occupational therapist, but this is another three people minimum that I speak to and coordinate care with the patient. I can't believe I totally forgot to mention CNA and I didn't even add this in my counting, but usually I work with one nursing assistant on my side. So my nursing assistant has 14 patients. So I do work hand in hand with them. And then lastly, I'm trying to think of everyone else that I work with, but lastly, I work with my discharge coordinator, my case manager, and sometimes my social worker. Now these three people, the social worker, she's helpful, but my discharge coordinator and my case manager, they are so helpful, helpful for me. They will always call my patient's family. They'll help coordinate stuff. So it's really like a right hand man, but I am taking it into my account of other people that I interact with daily, which is actually bringing us to over 16 at this point. So what I'm getting at, as nurses, we interact with a whole lot of people. And maybe when we get off our shift, we don't really want to get into deep conversations. Maybe we just want to come home and relax and recoup. If you saw my vlog that I posted lately, which was what I do on my first day off after working three shifts in a row, I pretty much just lounge around all day and catch up at home because being gone for 12, 12 and a half hours, I know I'm bit, we call it 12, but it's really 12 and a half hours, not including the driving, but there is a lot of catching up to do. I want to give a shout out to Blue Cherry Art Studio. She's local. She reached out to me on Instagram and donated a lot of these really pretty resin badge holders. So she gave me like 10 of them to hand out to the nurses on my unit. So she didn't pay me to say this or anything, but you can check out her Etsy down below. She makes some really cool stuff. I actually ordered a serving dish from her and it's on my downstairs table. I'll show you a little clip of that. But yeah, go ahead and check her Etsy out and tell her thank you for supporting her nurses. If you want to see one of my other nursing related videos, you can check them out right here. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.